a car's dashboard is full of dials and gauges that keep the driver up to speed on everything. In the time of the horse and buggy, a dashboard was a wooden panel for shielding the driver from mud and water. Hence the word dash, which can mean bespatter or splash. When motorised vehicles came along, instruments were added, making the dashboard an important source of information. Today's dashboards tell the driver a lot at a glance. Ignore the dials and you could run out of fuel or be slapped with a speeding ticket. A dashboard for a luxury sports car starts with this aluminium skeleton. It's been bonded at the joints with adhesive that's stronger than conventional welds. A technician clips the main electrical harness to the aluminium frame. He then fixes the heating and air conditioning unit to the centre of the dashboard skeleton and connects it to the wiring. At the next station, the dashboard's composite substructure is coming together. Working from the back, the technician installs a glove box and a network of ducts for the heating and cooling system. The substructure is now ready to join the wired aluminium frame. He rivets the assembly to the metal structure. He slots the driver's information module, which includes the speedo, into the housing. He equips the dashboard with high-end speakers. The front passenger airbag, encased in aluminium, comes next. The technician inserts it in the moulded plastic niche. Using a computerised tool, he installs the airbag with perfect precision. Next up is the steering column, with its magnesium shifting paddles and wiper controls already attached. He slides it into place just under the information module. He then encases the electronics with plastic cowling. This both protects the wiring and tucks it out of sight. He tops off this job with more cowling above. He adds a hand-stitched leather surround to the dashboard's centre console. He inserts the centre stack, which contains the radio, other audio equipment and temperature control mechanisms. More leather adds a luxurious look, smell and feel to the cabin. The next technician assembles push-button controls for shifting gears. He installs them in a veneered fascia through the back to avoid damaging the glossy finish on the front. He inserts vents for air conditioning and heating above the gear shift controls, again sliding them into place through the back of the unit. He secures the vents with screws, then adds the starter assembly. The satellite navigation system gets the top spot which will put it with an easy eye shot once it's installed in the dashboard. With this sub-assembly almost complete, he flips it around. It needs one finishing touch, a chrome and glass casing for the starter. He slides it into place and the unit is now ready for the dashboard. He makes all the right connections and installs the gadget-filled fascia just over the centre stack. He now encases the rest of the dashboard in leather panelling. This particular panel has a built-in split, so it will part as the airbag deploys. Next, a technician downloads computer software for all of the equipment in the dashboard. He configures the electronics to the appropriate settings. He then tests each component, confirming that every instrument and control works perfectly. The dashboard is now complete and awaits installation. A modern dashboard can define a car's interior space and add serious gadget appeal. For example, this car uses a distinctive steel and crystal key for engine ignition. When the key slot glows red, there is power. It's time to press a few buttons and see what pops up. Like this speaker, for example. Nice. With a high-tech luxury dashboard, a driver can really travel in style. Gentlemen, start your engines.